Hey there, world travelers, and buenos dias, Cusco, Peru. So we are actually on our way now for a four, five, six, I'm not sure, but a lot of hours trek through some of the most incredible valleys that you would have Absolutely ever seen. Gorgeous. And gorgeous. One of the nicest things, it's, it's exclusively private to us exactly. <laughs> and the people, um, yeah, don't which see is a nice. lot of touristas here. Not a lot of tourists, <laughs> which is kind of the way we like it. So it's starting to drizzle a little bit, so we don't want to get this camera, which is not waterproof wet. So we're just going to get started on this journey today. It's going to be a long but fun and incredible trek and we're looking forward to taking you guys with us. You ready to get this started? Let's do it. Let's go. Ah, Cristo Blanco. Cristo Blanco is overlooking the city, protecting the city. Pretty beautiful statue there. And then we have Saxe Woman. And of course, Pinka Times off here in the distance, which we will see on another day in more detail. the llama farm here and we're going to check out the uh, llamas and I guess some of the other animals here at the llama farm. So a quick stop along the way before Pachamama. I wonder if we can actually hold them. Yeah maybe. Right? Wouldn't that be cool if we can hold them? Pet them. get spit on. <laughs> They only come when they have snacks. Look how big they are. Yeah, they, oh, oh. No, no. You got spitters? Yeah, because this, this is it. It's be there. there. It's really bitter. <laughs> oh, they don't like it. Like, ah, it's no good. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> oh, hey, babies. How are you doing? Huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, not about the whole stack. Okay, so I learned something new today. Actually, camels um, originally came from North America, which I had no idea. So the original evidence of them is in North America. And then apparently 2.5 million years ago or so, they migrated from North America over to Asia. You want some food? And from Asia, they, of course, spread all across Asia over to the Middle East. And then the, the llamas and the alpacas, and here are the nice little llamas here, are all descendants of the camels. So this is what, we, of course, we have here in North America, or more like South America today. And then of course you have the camels over in Asia and the Middle East. Hey, okay, they're hungry though. I gotta feed these guys. They're starving, no one feeds them here. What are you getting? Oh, I'm definitely uh, gonna get some cocoa tea right now just to kind of keep myself from uh, feeling the altitude. The cocoa tea is supposed to help and give you energy as well. So I'm having some cocoa tea. Time. What is that again? Ancestral instrument. So ancestral instrument. What is yeah. that? Yeah, for warriors. Warriors. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Put oh, wow. here. They swing it as a war. I've looked. Oh, they put rocks in it. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Put here. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Bravo. For pizza. You have. <laughs> Sure, let me try. Let go. David's let actually go. going to be trying to use the traditional oh, yeah. Inca weapon okay. to catch do I go food, I prey, hunting over. animals. This way. <laughs> go this way. Go this way. Like that. Watch out for friendly fire. This here right here is uh, called Chilka. 
and chilka is basically what we uh, saw happening when they are using some of the chilka to change the color of uh, the wool, um, which is fascinating. But that right there, one more time, I hope I'm saying it right, it's called chilka. And that right there, my friend, is pupa. Pupa, you don't step on the pupa. This fridge. So it really gives like a fresh. Wow. Oh. Does it smell or do you yeah, need to? No, 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 it's not. That's the uh, moyokai. Moyokai. And moyokai is basically used, as uh, Cesar was saying, for washing your hair. It's a really fresh kind of natural way of doing things. Just amazing. And you would never know that unless you are connected with some of the native uh, folks here in Peru. that actually still use this today. Great. right here it looks almost like an oak leaf in a way and it has these little thorns in it so very prickly and um, this is called kisa 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 and it's really good for arthritis it's just uh, another you know thing you'd walk past and never know that this here is great for medicinal purposes kisa kisa hello teacher oh hola hola oh you're in a hurry you're in a hurry. Oh my gosh. Yes, there you go. Go, go get, go get no, mommy. No. Go, go get him. Go get him. You can do Yay, it. Can. There goes puppy. Now right okay. here we have is what is cocoa leaves. And uh, for altitude especially, this is really, really great for altitude sickness or headaches or when you're trying to adjust to the altitude. And what you do is you chew them, correct? Yeah. Uh, don't swallow them. You chew them. No, you, you might get sick to your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so follow the rules. Chew it. You don't talk about how it's called cockleish. You don't chew them. You're, like I do. You just put them in the side of your mouth. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. That's for you. Now we're gonna have deer brush with cockleish. Break that off, okay? Yeah. And chew in there. Mm-hmm. Much, oh. much. More? Yeah, more, more. Oh, cock out on No, cock out of the cock out Cock? Yeah. Got a little more in there. You gotta put a lot more than I on here. I feel like I'm getting cheated. Oh. <laughs> so, I was about to use the bathroom because nature is my bathroom. And as I was heading up there, I got freaked out because there was a giant pig <laughs> and a beautiful woman and her husband up there. And instead of actually peeing in nature, I almost peed on myself. So we're gonna try and move on to the next Another spot. spot. That. And here's a lovely lady. <laughs> and the pig's sleeping up there, it looks like. Look at him go. He's like killing it. Altitude's got nothing on that man. Nothing. That's my baby. Working. <laughs> I know. That is the top. The wow. Top. Yeah. The top. That's the top. Out there. All, All down. the way is down. Great. Down. Beautiful hike. So we're going up there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Heading up that way. <laughs> Having the uh, coca leaf is important. I think it definitely helps with the altitude. And I'm breathing really heavy because 
we just did a quite a little climb straight up so and definitely having a sombrero really helps it's important because you're that much closer to the sun so having a hat like this similar for all you fashionistas out there maybe something a little more cute and fashionable but it's definitely good to have uv protection on your eyes your skin because you don't want to get burnt and crispy i can see off in the distance where we came from we started at that small village down about halfway up the mountain over there wow. and then we've hiked uh quite a bit around the turn and we're getting close to the top here we're gonna have lunch yes lunch hydration and drink exactly that's what i'm looking forward to <laughs> Stopping for lunch. Oh yeah. Nice little box lunch there. Box lunch. I tell you, there's nothing like lunch after a, after a hike. It's so true. It feels so. You gotta replenish. Uh, so we got a nice little lunch here, David. What do you got? So it looks like we got some mushrooms here, some nice pasta. Wow. Some quinoa. peppers. Quinoa. Quinoa. Looks like maybe some ham in here. Nice. In these little rolls we have. Chicken. Turkey. Um, chicken. Maybe some chicken in there. Is there some cheese? Maybe some cheese in the middle. Some tomato, I think, as well. Mm. Looks really good, and when you're hungry, after Everything hiking for you know this long, we are ready to eat. So I'm excited about it. I'll take a bite. I'm gonna try one of these rolls. Dig in. Mmm, mmm, really fresh. This is what Peru is all about. Nice, you know, beautiful hikes and fresh food for lunch. Same, same dish as Dave. So I'm just gonna dig right in and see what this is about. Mm, the pasta looks fresh. I'm gonna try that with the quinoa. Mmm. Probably tastes good. Mmm. That is really nice, really fresh. Um, has a nice little crunch to it, which I think is the cucumber in there. It's almost like a quinoa salad, almost a pasta salad. Really tasty, nice, nice hearty flavors. Beautiful shot. Yeah, packing up, getting ready to go. All right, here it is, a big hike down. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. <laughs> by the Incas, just incredible, you know, architecture in itself. I mean, many, many, many years, this wall is here and it's still holding superbly strong. You know what? People of today, you modern construction workers, you can learn a lot from the Incas. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Right now, this here is the principal, the main entrance to the Inca Trail that we're gonna be walking along, right down into the canyon. And right over there is called the Puma Punco. Punco, be careful, um, David. Yeah, I got it. Punco is door, and Puma is Puma, so the door to the Puma. <laughs> it's and you can see the trail go right into the valley below. It's so gorgeous. It's just incredible. We're going right down there. Yay! It's gonna be great. And I love the fact that it's going down. <laughs> down Not is good. Going down. <laughs> this is the main entrance to Hoshi Costco Inca Trail. And the reason being is what makes it the main is because they use double the size of the stone when they're making. Right, they have like two pillars, two pillars. It's just that come up. Unreal. He's on both sides. And where are we headed? What you go, Scott? You got it. I was, I was going to let you answer that one. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 
20 years ago, uh, about 20 years ago, I think, uh, what we were told, that this cave used to be homes to the Pumas. And obviously they moved for whatever reasons being, I think because maybe there's too many people um, or, or not, not particularly sure. But 20 years ago, that used to be home wow. to the Puma. <laughs> <laughs> In this area also, there's many, many variety of birds that we're probably gonna see. And what's really cool about this particular trail, we were just having this discussion that there's a lot of variations of Inca trails. This is one of the coolest ones because not many people are on it. It's incredible. You think about, you know, I've always thought about the Inca trail to Machu Picchu, like there was one Inca trail, but there's just hundreds or thousands of Inca trails all scattered throughout the Andes. So it's amazing. This is one of them. And, you know, as Tanya said, you know, we're the only ones on this and it's incredible. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's very, very spiritual. Just every turn just gets this, this incredible views all around you. It's just hard to explain, and hopefully, hopefully our footage helps you. You kind of take, you know, take you there with us. So, because it's uh, really wonderful. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> Woo -hoo! A new discovery. <laughs> well, not new, but a cool discovery. This particular flower here, this beautiful, beautiful flower here, was very, very important to the Incas. And the, one of the main reasons being is it was actually used if you fell, if you had an open wound. Um, they used it to, to basically heal you. And it's pronunciation, and I'll try my best, is era, era. That's great. So it's, you have to say it like that, um, because that is the, the, ingui, the language yeah. of the Inca. It's kind of like the natural Neosporin. Staying. I'm not sure if you can see it through this, but um, straight across there's like a plastic little shiny thing that's almost mounted into the mountain. That's where we're going to be staying tonight to really kind of dive into some eat, some sleep, some rest, some fun, and some great times. Welcome to Homestay of Puchicosco. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Well done, well done. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. oh my gosh. That was incredible. That was crazy. That was awesome. And oh my god, am I ready for some good food and much, much agua. <laughs> Absolutely. So nice rest after. Good. Oh, so good. Pass down, please. Yeah.